Okay, in this screencast we'll take a very brief look at what colligative properties are and how they affect both the boiling point and the melting point of a solution. And that's it. By the end of the screencast you'll know what the term means and why that might be surprising to a scientist. Uh, it's not something scientists are usually comfortable dealing with and has to do with that term, colligative. We'll also know how solvents affect the boiling points and the melting points of solution in a qualitative sense and in some follow-up screencasts we'll take a look at it quantitatively. This is screencast 11.10. We'll suggest reasonable explanations for these observations either in this screencast or perhaps in a future one. Let's go ahead and start. Colligative means collective so it's a funky term but it's a collective property. So we're talking about property not of the solute, not of the solvent, but of the solution as a whole. Now normally that's a bad idea for scientists. If you want to understand blood, for example, you understand each substance that's in blood and then you understand blood as a whole. You don't just study the gross properties of it all together. But in this case we will. We're looking at the properties of a mixture. Okay, we, one thing that we've has been experimentally determined is that boiling point goes up when you add uh, some solutes. And finally, the freezing point goes down. If you're thinking about that, you should realize that you're increasing the liquid range of that substance. By a lot? By a little? We'll find out. Why might these things be the case? We'll find out in the next screencast. This is a screencast 11.10.